Today my friend Sarah stops by for a tour of my new cozy apartment. Hi, welcome to my apartment. Hi, hi Roxy. I had to show off my foyer, so I hung her bag and then we headed to the kitchen. I didn't have room for a dining space in here, so I added two bar stools for an eat-in kitchen. Over lemonade, I explained that choosing to use float shelves instead of cabinets keeps the kitchen wide open. Let me show you my home office. Hanging my bike on the wall created just enough floor space to add this sleek desk. Having two drawers provides just enough storage to keep the space practical. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with that. Isn't it the perfect size? Believe it or not, I actually hide my printer in here. I was gonna show her my bathroom, but you know, small bathrooms. As we entered the main living area, Sarah commented on how much she liked all of the architectural details. Oh, I love that detailed mantle. These are some items I was able to pick up at my local salvage yard. Another challenge of small space living is creating a cozy seating area to house enough guests. Using smaller scale pieces and multifunctional furniture items, such as this ottoman, you can provide seating for all of your friends. And while we're talking about multifunctional furniture, check out this bar cart that doubles as a coffee table. Sarah really appreciated how the daybed worked in the room, but wondered how I got it up seven flights of stairs. I could have gotten it with a trundle, but I decided to use the underneath as storage. Believe it or not, majority of the furniture in here is ready to assemble. The only thing missing from my home is a spacious closet, but I've taken care of that by adding this armoire and this cool DIY project. Well, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed looking at my small apartment and gained some ideas how to decorate your space. Thanks for watching.